day nine of 12 Days of Christmas with me. Today I am sharing my 2018 Wrapping Station Plus. Wrap some presents with me. Are you excited? If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and take a tour of my wrapping station this year. So just a quick overview. The table that you're looking at right now is just a foldable table and I have a little tablecloth on it. I picked this one up from Walmart this year. It's red and black buffalo check. Yes, please. And I am so so obsessed with it. Looking at towards the left, you'll see the majority of the wrapping station goodies from tags to tools to pins to tape. We'll get into a closer look of that in just a sec. And then on the right, you will see all of my tissue paper. And underneath the table is where I have my wrapping paper, boxes and bows, you name it. I've probably got it. Okay, so here is a closer look at the left side of the table. I always pick up little Christmas tins. I just love them. I picked this one up last year at the 99 cent only store and it's burlap with this beautiful plaid tree. I think it's so pretty. So in this one, I put my green tool in it, which I picked up this tool in the after Christmas clearance sale from Hobby Lobby last year, which let me go ahead and say that really quick. I do have a lot of stuff. I do collect this stuff from the after Christmas clearance sales. I do not pay full price for practically anything unless it comes from the dollar store or the dollar tree. So just in case you were wondering, A, why do I have so much stuff? Well, I get it at rock bottom prices and I stockpile it so that I do not have to purchase any of this full price during the current season or holiday. And let's be honest, I love having different bows and tags, tool and ribbon. And I did get this from my mom. My mom always shops the after Christmas clearance sales she has for years. My mom has the same plastic tubs. I grew up seeing her pull all of this stuff out and do a little pop-up wrapping station. And then as I started to get older and then now I'm in my own house, I'm carrying on like the same little tradition that she does. So back to the wrapping station. Again, I have tool here. I have my red tool and this adorable little pill from the Target Dollar Spot probably from two years ago. I have my white glittery tool. This little pill was from the Dollar Tree from a couple of years ago and I just have some pretty little tags in here, which look at these. I picked these up from Target one year and they're absolutely adorable. Some little Christmas trees. Let's see, more Christmas trees. Ooh, these were from the Target Dollar Spot from last year and I absolutely love them. These ginormous tags are beautiful. Okay, back here I have some little gift bags, which I'll show you. And again, all of this stuff was purchased in the after Christmas clearance sales, but this is where I keep all of like the really tiny sized gift bags. Like, look at how pretty these are. Oh, look at little Santa. Let me take some of these out. And I always keep it in this little container, which this is like a another like little gift basket. I believe it was from Hobby Lobby. Yes. And whenever I'm done with my wrapping station, I'll literally put this back into my plastic tub just like this. And if I buy any new little bags and the after Christmas clearance sale from this year, I'll stuff them in here and then put it in the plastic tub. So we just have a variety of little Christmas bags. So, so cute. What did he say? Just the season. Those are adorable. These are like little treat bags, or you can use them for cookies. I love all of these little bags. I also have some little gift card holders here. This is a little three pack. And these are some really cute gift card holders. They're little ornament bulbs pretty card from the DT. Okay, moving right along, I have two little Ray Dunn holders and I have them filled with all of my gift tags, which FYI, when they are not in those little Ray Dunn containers, they're in my plastic storage containers in this little tub, as well as this little gift box. I don't have all of my gift tags out at the moment, but I did take a variety of a lot of different tags and I have them on display so that I can see a lot of them. It's hard to see them when 
whenever they're stuffed in a box. I love setting them out in the open where I can see them and that helps me use them up. And then moving right along to this little DT storage container, I have my pins. My pins are actually in a little candle holder that I got from the 99 cent only store from last year. So I have my flares. I love my flare pins. They are amazing. As well as my refill for my tape holder. These are the Scotch hand free tape dispensers. I absolutely love them and I highly recommend them. You can wear them a variety of different ways like on your knuckles. Sometimes I wear it like a bracelet. I think these little gadgets are amazing. And then right underneath I have just like little sticky tags because sometimes you just need to slap a tag on. And then again I have another variety of little gift tags. These are super girly. I love them. The leopard print tags. I have a few pink Merry Christmas tags. And moving right along, I have two little pills filled with gift bows. This one is from the Target Dollar Spot, I believe. And this green little tub is from the Dollar Tree from a couple of years ago. Okay, moving right along, I have another little container here filled with some ribbon. It's a variety, like some are from the Dollar Tree, Michaels, and Hobby Lobby. These are my absolute favorite ribbons ever. They're super, super thick. And these are from Walmart and Hobby Lobby. I have my coffee because life. I also have my Christmas planner with me so that I can check off that the person's gift has been wrapped. Right here, I have my little Ray Dunn scissor holder. And these little scissors are from the Dollar General that I picked up this year. And I think they're so cute. I also have another Dollar Tree little plastic organizer with some more ribbon. Y'all, I am absolutely obsessed with this red truck ribbon. It is from the Dollar General. It was two bucks a roll. I bought quite a few. If you missed it, I did do a DIY Christmas wreath using this ribbon. I think it's gorgeous. I'll have the link to that video in the description box below you should definitely check it out and then down at the end of the table I have some tissue paper all of my like printed tissue paper is from the DT. I picked up the plaid tissue paper this year and these two prints I picked up from the DT last year. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at what I have right underneath the table. So in this bag right here, it's from the Target Dollar Spot from last year. It's so gorgeous, I love it. So in this bag are all of the gift bags that me and Mark use for each other. I hold on to them. Uh, let's see, all of these are from previous years. Some of them are from last year, but some of them are really old. Like we have two bags that we always give each other. This little Ho 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 bag and this little Jingle bag. They have had some wear and tear, but we always, we've had these, uh -oh, where is it? We've had these two bags since our very, very first Christmas together. And let me tell y'all that is a long time ago. These were from the Dollar Tree from last year. They're so cute. Cute, cute, cute. With the little beetle. And I actually drove a little red beetle. So it's adorable. And then, of course, the truck. It's so cute. Another little snowy winter scene with the red truck. These are super girly. And actually, these are for me and my sister. She always gives me one and then I give her one. So I hold on to them. Uh, let's see, another little truck bag. Oh, Mark bought these for me a couple of years ago. Open me first, he's so cute. I have these. This one, it has like a big Santa tag. I absolutely love it. And this one's from the Target Dollar Spot. Last year, I absolutely loved the Target Dollar Spot bags. They were so, so pretty. I picked this up in the Target Dollar Spot last year. And I gave it to Mark. It's just like a little uh, buffalo check sack. And it's so cute to put a gift in. I love it. So, I try to keep our bags that I like to use over and over in here. So I'll scoop that back. I also have another plastic container, which let me tell y'all, when I was setting up my wrapping station this year, I decluttered through every single plastic tub. And mind you, I have four plastic tubs just for gift wrapping. And I got it down to about two and a half. So that third container for 
wrapping station is probably going to hold a lot of the stuff that I pick up in the after Christmas clearance sale. So I got rid of one whole plastic tub of gift wrap. I donated the stuff. So in this little tub, which it's actually pretty small, it holds all of my gift bags that I'll just use for gift wrapping for friends and family. I also have some little gift card holders here. These cute little gift bags. I picked these up this year from Target. I thought they were so cute, as well as this one. It's so adorable. And again, a lot of these bags are from the after Christmas clearance sales. I think I picked these up last year. Yeah, it says 2017 Christmas on it. All of these are my bags. Oh, these are from the Dollar Tree from this year. They're super duper pretty. I love them. And more tissue paper. Moving right along to a much longer tub. This has a ton of stuff in it, but again, it's decluttered. Okay, so taking a peek in here, I have some wire ribbon. I picked this up this year from the DT. A lot of this stuff is left over from previous years that I'll use to wrap gifts with. I picked this up, I believe, last year on the after Christmas clearance sale. I thought that plaid was just absolutely beautiful. So I have two of these, a much bigger one and a smaller one. Let's see, and here I have a little container filled with more wired ribbon. I have a big bag of bows. It's a brand new bag of bows, regular price $9.99, but I got it in the after Christmas clearance sale last year. So I probably will not have to buy bows for a couple of years. Okay, let's see what else I have in here. I have more of my Scotch refills. I had found these at Walmart when they were on clearance and um, I stocked up because when things are on clearance, that means you need to stock up. Okay, I have a couple of rolls of wrapping paper that could fit in here. These are from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love Hobby Lobby wrapping paper. Let's see, oh, all of these little tins. These little tins are from Walmart, and the thing is, I used some last year, I donated some, and I still have some. So, some of them are empty, and some of them I'm kinda using as storage. So in this particular little tin, there's little Christmas bows and little presents, kind of like for ugly Christmas sweaters. So, let's see, if you can see back here, I have, scoot it out a little bit more. So I have a lot of gift boxes. Some are brand new and haven't been opened yet, like these here. I have them in all different sizes. I always pick up gift boxes in the after Christmas clearance sale because you get four boxes for $2.50. I mean, that's not bad, but if you could get four boxes for 30 cents, that's awesome. So I always buy boxes during the after Christmas clearance sales and I just stock up on them. Let's see, I just have some of these boxes that I'll use for gift wrapping as well. They're so cute. This one is from the 99 cent only store and I believe this one's from Burlington. Last but certainly not least, my little wrapping paper collection. Got this one at Target during the after Christmas clearance sale last year and it's so cute. I did donate quite a bit of my wrapping paper because I was just tired of holding on to it and let's be honest, I'll probably buy more wrapping paper after Christmas this year, so use it or lose it. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed my little wrapping station tour. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping some of my Christmas presents. So sit back, relax, enjoy your hot cocoa, and let's get to wrapping presents. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about.